our health alert tonight. Today we all got the very sad news that Arizona Senator John McCain, who has been battling aggressive brain cancer for more than a year, has decided to discontinue treatment. People close to McCain say his condition has deteriorated and he likely doesn't have much time left. So we wanted to bring in Dr. Nandy to talk a little bit about this tough topic, starting with what is brain cancer and what types does Senator McCain have? Salon, you know, brain cancer is what happens when a malignant tumor grows inside the cells of the brain. Not all brain tumors are malignant or cancerous. Unfortunately, the tumor that Senator McCain has is, and it's one of the worst kinds. It's called a glioblastoma. Now, these cancer cells develop within the brain and grow very quickly because they're supplied with lots of blood. And nearly 40% of people who develop glioblastoma die within a year. And doctor, I know he's been battling this for a while now. What treatment has the senator had? So I knew last summer McCain had surgery above his eye for a blood clot that turned out to be associated with glioblastoma. Now when it was determined that he had this aggressive form of cancer, he began chemotherapy and radiation treatments. But glioblastomas are notoriously difficult to kill with these treatments because of the speed at which they spread throughout the brain. And in your practice, doctor, this is tough, but how do you help and counsel patients in their decision to discontinue care? Well, it's tough, Alan, but I honor the request of the family first and foremost. And all the treatments that I offer, it's always a matter of what risk versus benefit. If the treatment's beneficial, heck, we should always continue. However, if the family and I agree that the treatment is not beneficial or is causing more discomfort or harm to the patient, it may be worthwhile to consider discontinuing the treatment. And in that case, I'll make referrals for palliative treatment, including hospice care if needed. It's, it's hard, but it's, it's definitely uh, uh, necessary for some families who are suffering. Absolutely. Tough conversations. Dr. Nandy, thank you so much for the information. And if you have a question or health concern for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at WXYZ.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.